I'm Ms. Artastic, and welcome to day seven of the June Drawing Bonanza, where things are getting weird because we're drawing every single day. Again, I'm posting every single day throughout the month of June for you, so your drawing skills can go increase through the practice of drawing every day. And today we are drawing this strawberry. Yeah, I know, it got weird again, didn't it? You wait for tomorrow. Tomorrow on day eight, it's getting weirder. Let me tell you. Okay, so grab something to draw with and something to color with and let's make some art. This episode is brought to you by ArtasticKids.com. If you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at ArtasticKids.com. All right, welcome back. This is the Ms. Artastic YouTube, YouTube channel. We are going to be creating art every single day this month for the June Drawing Bonanza. I'm doing a special challenge this month where I'm going to be posting every single day for the month of June. So make sure you show up every single day for the month of June. Draw with me because you're going to see your drawing skills grow exponentially. All right. We're going to be making a, well, very odd strawberry today. So we're going to begin with a stem. So two curving lines up and add an oval above. From there, we're gonna draw a curving line below and two curving lines on either side. Whoa, you can't see that, can you? There we go. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're gonna sneak one in behind here. Boop! Kinda looks like the top of a pumpkin, but don't worry, it'll be a strawberry eventually. All right. Add a V on the end of every one of those, except for the one in the back, because you can't see it. It's gonna be behind the strawberry. So now we got some strawberry leaves. I like to add lines curving down the center for some added texture, of course. Okay, from there, we're gonna draw a strawberry shape. Draw a nice big round strawberry shape, yeah. And then here's where things get a little silly. We're gonna draw an X on either side. Oof. And below we're gonna draw some ovals for some cheeks. And then between the eyes we'll draw the mouth with some zigzag lines. I like to add details around the edge by Adding some dashed lines. And of course, we want to add some seeds so you can draw some teardrop shapes in some rows across your strawberry. On the stem, we can add some hatching lines for some shading. And you can even add some on one side of your strawberry for shading down one side of your strawberry end to add detail and visual interest and texture. Super important, guys. And once you have that, you are ready to color in your strawberry the way you want it. So grab your choice of art making mediums and colors and go ahead and give your strawberry some seriously awesome color the way you would like it.
strawberry. And once you're done, your lovely strawberry is done. And that is the end of day uh, seven. Woo! Day seven of the June Dry Bonanza. And of course, take a picture, share it on social media. Tag me at Ms. Artastic or at artastic.kids and I will check it out. Um, and I would love to see how you put your own artist flavor onto this. Like, what are you gonna add to make it your own? So we can kind of see how all our different artwork kind of comes together and is different from each other. That is a cool thing about it. Even though we're doing the same tutorial, all of us as individuals and as individual artists can add our own artist flavor to it. And then just challenge yourselves to show up every day and draw. So tomorrow, we're going, it's going to be day eight of the June drawing bonanza challenge and we're gonna be doing a watermelon, but of course we're gonna be doing a zombie watermelon, so make sure you show up and I will see you there. Well, that's it for this episode. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, Ms. Artastic. And if you create anything and share it online on social media, please, please, I would love to see it. So take me at Ms. Artastic and I will check it out or join the community and conversation and use the hashtag, hashtag Ms. Artastic. And I will check it out that way as well. And you can see what other people are creating who create with Ms. Artastic. YouTube videos. Well, that's it for this episode and I will see you in the next.